This video tutorial will take you through how you can use iMindMap 5 for projects. Mind mapping is a great tool for any type of project. It will allow you not only to gather the ideas at the beginning of the project, but also to plan, schedule and then manage the project in one process and in one place. You can use the project system within iMindMap 5 for small or large projects, whether they're from parties, family events or even to product development. Stage 1 of your project should be to brainstorm your ideas, so to capture down all the different tasks and elements of your project. And I've got an example here. This is how to run a training course. So for my training course I'll need to think about who's going to be attending, the materials I need, the venue and the equipment. And I've mind mapped here quickly all the different tasks that I will need for this project or for this training course to go ahead. One of the important things when you are mind mapping a project is to make sure that the final branch is your actual task. So materials isn't a task, it's a category, but the mind map is the actual doing part of the project. So make sure you've set your mind map up correctly in this structure. Now the best thing about using mind maps for projects is that it will allow you to see the whole picture of your project in one place. It should make sure that you've seen all the different areas of your project, see how they're interlinked, ensuring that you don't miss anything out or you don't forget a vital element of your project. Once you've captured all your ideas in the standard mind mapping process, you can then switch into project, which you'll find under document views, which is on the home tab. And for Mac users, you will also find it on the main toolbar. Here you will see iMindMap 5's project view. On the left hand side, you have your task table and on the right hand side you have your Gantt chart. You can customise your Gantt chart by right mouse clicking on any of the buttons or tabs and you can say toggle period tier and change this whether you want it yearly, quarterly, monthly, week or day. So if you've got a more short term project the week or the day view may be more applicable. Here you can see I've now got the week task tab aligned on the top toolbar here. Now to add the data to your project you can do that by using the task table. So you will see first of all that the hierarchy of your mind map has been brought through to the task table here. So the training course project was my central idea and my main branches were venue, materials, equipment and I'll just scroll down attendees and marketing. Under each of these headings you will see the branches, the child branches that stem from these. So we've got drinks, we've got to order, food and book. You can set each of your tasks up by simply clicking on the start and end dates and you will find a small arrow which you can click on and you'll get your calendar appearing. So you can simply click on a start date and you can then click on a finish date and it will automatically populate the duration for you. You can change this duration manually if you prefer by using your keyboard and typing in the duration number of days. You will be able to then see your task information has been populated within your Gantt chart. You have further options here. You can manually increase the task times using the blue bar and the arrow and this will then reflect the data into your task table. You've also got options within the side panel for the Windows machines or for Mac users you can go to the inspector. Now I'm just going to click on tasks and here you will see the task tab appearing. Under general you've got the task name, the duration, the start and end times, the priority so you can set how important you think the task is and the percentage complete which we'll come on to in a minute. 
You can also mark a task as a milestone by using the checkbox. And by doing this, you will see the milestone icon placed in the Gantt chart. You've also got the option here to add predecessors and also resources to your project. Once you've populated your task information, you can then start using your mind map or the project view to start managing your project. We briefly touched upon completion. You can use the percentage complete to show how complete each of your tasks are. Now there's two ways of doing that. You can click on the completion percentage and change this manually. You can also use the yellow bar which is within each of the task bars. By clicking and dragging you can change the percentage complete. I'm now just quickly going to go back into my mind map view and you will see that on each of my branches there's a project icon placed. Now this will allow you again to set the percentage completion of each of your tasks. By clicking on these you will see that the pie charts get filled in within 25% increments. So you can easily see how complete each task is by using these pie charts. By rolling your mouse over the project icons you will also see a summary of each of your tasks. You can also access the task information whilst in mind map view using the side panel or the inspector. Here you will be able to see the same information as we previously looked at. iMindMap also integrates with Outlook and in the task side panel you will also see options to send tasks to Outlook and also to send milestones to Outlook. This will populate this data within your calendar and your to-do list. If you are adding resources to your project you can actually load in your contact list from Outlook so that your resources are pre-populated by people within your team. Finally, you can also export your project to Microsoft Project. For those of you who are used to using tools such as Microsoft Project or have people within your company who use Microsoft Project, you can then begin your project within iMindMap you can then export to Microsoft Project. To export, simply go to the File tab. If you're using a Mac, click on the File menu button. Go to Export and Project and you will simply click the Export Project button. Save your project file and you will then be able to open this up within Microsoft Project.